Okay, this is just a short video warning some of my viewers of something you don't want to do. I had this TV come in the other day. Actually, somebody sold it to me, so it got it cheap and it was no great loss. But anyway, the TV came in here with a bad Y sustain board. So I went ahead and replaced the Y sustain board. And when I was done doing so, I noticed there were some horizontal lines going across the screen. And often that happens from not having your ribbon cables properly seated. So I began maneuvering them a little bit, flipping the lever down here just to get them to seat a little bit better. And I was making progress and I got down to this bottom one here and when I pulled it out I ended up ruining a perfectly good Y sustain board. Now a lot of times you'll get away with that sort of thing and I know a lot of guys will pull these things out maneuver them with the power on and uh, just want to give you a warning sometimes you're going to get in trouble if you do that. The same goes with pulling off any of these other wiring harnesses Again, you can get away with it sometimes, but I had an occasion here where I didn't get away with it. So, for what it's worth, if you find yourself in a situation where you're thinking about pulling off one of these wiring harnesses, I recommend you do so with the power off. Now, if you want to fire it up after you pull it off, or turn the power off before you put it back on, that's a safer bet. So, for what it's worth, just thought I'd pass that on. Maybe I can save some of you going through the headache I did with this thing. Thanks for listening.